if you had only 5 minutes and 4 seconds to show someone what the 1980s were like, all you'd have to do is cue up Duran Duran's Rio music video, a technicolor blast of cheekbones and excess. The British pop group filmed it in 1982 on the island of Antigua, where they rented a 70-foot yacht and, wearing pastel silk suits, posed coolly while passing over the Caribbean Sea. Her name is Rio, and she dances on the sand, singer Simon Le Bon lip synced from the bow of the ship. A new television channel called MTV latched onto this video and made it a centerpiece of its programming. The band members spent only three or four hours on board, but the image was so powerful that people began to think a typical day for Der and Duran involved a yacht and a model in body paint. They were labeled a video band, which carried the connotation of being a fleeting success. It was quite annoying for a while, that we were pigeonholed like that, Lebon says. Next year will be 40 years since the Rio video, and Duran Duran is still around. Unlike a lot of supposed 1980s bands, they had hit swell into the 90s, in the U.S., and the 2000s, in the U.K. There've been plenty of changes to the lineup of Liban, keyboardist Nick Rhodes and the three unrelated tailors, bassist John, guitarist Andy and drummer Roger, but they've never broken up. They've made great albums, uneven albums, terrible albums, 1995's Thank You included ill-advised versions of Bob Dylan and Public Enemy songs, and a snappy and snazzy new album, Future Past, their 15th. For an 80s band, they sure have lasted a long time. In recent years, Duran has amply integrated guest musicians and producers into albums, and the credits on Future Past include Giorgio Moroder, Graham Coxon of Blair, Mark Ronson, Tovlo, British rapper Ivory and Dolan Japanese pop group Chai, the lineup that recorded Hungry Like the Wolf, Girls on Film, Save a Prayer, Union of the Snake, The Reflex and A View to a Kill, each a huge hit, reassembled in the early 2000s. Guitarist Andy left for a second time in 2006, and the absence of his power chords has left room for a renewed focus on electronic sounds, Lebon, who will turn 63 on October 27, and John Taylor, 61, called from a hotel room, a luxury suite, most likely, in Austin, where the band was co-headlining the Austin City Limits Festival.